Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I'd like to make a statement this morning. When you maximize your gifts and talents in service to other people, you open up the door to success and more importantly, to significance. What do I mean by that? You know, cars are not just manufactured to be cars. They are manufactured with a purpose. Everything that you see in the store was manufactured and created with a purpose and for a purpose. There is nothing that you can go to the store and buy that was not created for a purpose. In fact, even the shelves that the stuff is on was created with a purpose to hold the stuff that you're gonna buy. Everything that you see was created for a purpose. The signs that you see created for a purpose. The lights that you see created for a purpose. Stop signs created for a purpose. And my favorite, bridges. Bridges are created for a purpose. One of them is echoes. Listen, I love this. How about that? Echoes, the sounds of echoes, isn't it great? Everything is created with and for a purpose. And guess what? So were you and you and you and you and you created with and for a purpose. Now, why do I say that? It's up to you to truly determine what that is in you that is a gift and a talent. Everybody has given them. In fact, my favorite book, the B-I-B-L-E, says this, that the gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. Once he gives them to you, he will not take them back from you. Giving you your gifts was his gift to you. What you do with them is your gift to him. When you maximize them in service to others, that's your gift to the world. And guess what? It can be your calling. It can be your profession. It can be your business. It can be your endeavor. It can be your focus. You have the opportunity to decide if you're going to put in the time and the work to determine what that unique gift and talent is. Do you know that over 75% of the American workforce is disengaged, disenfranchised, and unhappy with the work that they do? Are you aware of that? What does that mean? That means that there is a large number of people in America who are doing something to pay the bills and to meet the responsibilities, but they're not truly fulfilled because they are not using their unique gifts and talents. There is a 25% approximate percentage of people who are using their gifts and talents and strengths. And when they get to use those to the maximum ability, when they practice those gifts, when they polish those gifts, when they perform those gifts, when they perfect that and they have progress, they are the happiest and most fulfilled people in the marketplace. An artist who is born to create art that can actually sell their art, a musician who is born to create music that loves to play music. There are, there are people in every industry who are the best of the best at what they do because they have discovered what that gift and talent is in them and then they have practice baby, practice baby, practice baby, practice, grueling, mind-numbing, boring, intense practice which has caused the level of their gifting to rise. And know this, when you put in that work, your gift will make room for you. Your gift will create a space for you. Your gift will be recognized and acknowledged because you have put in the work. Do you want to know what my gifts and talents is? One of my gifts and talents, one of my gifts and talents, ladies and gentlemen, is speaking and teaching. And I practice it every single day, all day long. I have stepped into an arena where the gifts and talents that I have been given in service to others, you guys realize you get this daily coaching for free. When I use these gifts and talents in service to others and maximize those gifts and talents through practice, baby, practice, baby, practice, the success comes 
also, more importantly, is the significance. That sense of knowing that you are doing what you were created to do. Now let me overcome all your objections. Share this with as many people as you can. It is not too late. That is a lie. It is not too late for you. That is a lie. Well, Steve, but you don't know my situation. I don't, but I know God. Well, Steve, you don't understand what's going on in my life. I don't, but God does. Well, Steve, you don't understand. I need to pay my bills. So does everybody else. It just depends on how bad you want it, the risk you're willing to take. My dad has a unique way of saying it as a Vietnam helicopter fighter pilot. No balls, no blue chips, son. That's my dad. That's not me. That means you got to take the big risks if you're going to get the big rewards. I'm going to encourage you guys to do something as I wrap up this video today. If you have not seen it, you need to watch it. If you have seen it, watch it again. Google Steve Harvey's jump, jump video. Steve Harvey's jump video. If you're on the precipice of making a decision and making a choice and really leaning into something that could be very risky for you, but it is an alignment with your gifts and talents. If it's in alignment with your gifts and talents and you're putting in the work and the practice to perform, to polish, to perfect, to pursue, to develop these gifts and talents, if you're putting in the work, then you understand something, my man, your gift will make room for you. Your gift will make a place for you. Your gift will create space for you. And when you polish and perform and perfect those gifts, they will be recognized as unbelievably unique, unbelievably spectacular, and incredibly excellent because, let me tell you something, God's gift to you was the gifts he put in you. Your gift to God is polishing, practicing, and perfecting them. Your gift to the world is now using them in service to other people, bringing you not only success, but significance. Not sure what it is? There's this thing called prayer. What did you create me for, God? What did you create me for? What gifts and talents did you give me? Let me give you one hint as I wrap it up today. It's something that you do that when you are doing it, you feel alive, baby. You feel like that's you. You feel like this is amazing and other people have recognized and said, man, you are really good at that thing. That's one of the ways that you lean into it. Ladies and gentlemen, when you maximize your gifts and talents in service to other people, you open the door to success and significance. Have a great day.